I have an advanced Optimus laptop for review sent from Electronics. They will be offering this key feature in their upcoming Max 15 and Mac 15 G3 near the end of 2020. To explain how this works, allow me to explain how most GeForce laptops have worked for the last decade. They use NVIDIA Optimus switchable graphics for maximum performance and efficiency. Optimus allows the integrated graphics and dedicated graphics to run together on a single system, relying primarily on the power-efficient integrated graphics, then automatically switching to the dedicated NVIDIA graphics for intense workloads such as video games. The drawback comes from the dedicated GPU forced to run through the integrated GPU's display controller, and Intel does not support variable refresh rates yet, with the exception of some of their low-end 11th gen CPUs. This means we cannot have G-Sync on laptops with NVIDIA Optimus switchable graphics unless the laptop has a multiplexer switch, also known as a MUX switch. Now, some laptops have this, and I've been very vocal about this feature over the last three years. This is a hardware feature that allows the user to switch between NVIDIA Optimus, which can also be called MS Hybrid, or choose the dedicated GPU. The latter allows for G-Sync should the laptop manufacturer get their display certified for this. It also brings many performance benefits that I have discussed in its own video linked in the description below. This switch on equipped laptops will be in the BIOS and oftentimes located in the proprietary software installed on the laptop. Selecting the opposite setting the laptop is currently in will then require the laptop to reboot in order for that setting to take effect. Advanced Optimus now takes this a step further as it does not inconvenience the user with a reboot of their laptop. Instead, the MUX switch is dynamic. The NVIDIA control panel will now have a new option called Manage Display Mode. Automatic Select is Advanced Optimus. It'll work just like traditional NVIDIA Optimus except G-Sync will also function should the laptop come equipped, which ours does indeed have. The laptop will still work like NVIDIA Optimus with its limited control panel options too, but it does allow dynamic refresh rate technology to function such as G-Sync during gameplay. By selecting Optimus in the control panel, your laptop will work just like a traditional GeForce equipped notebook. I'm not too sure the relevance of traditional Optimus as a selectable option, but this is in NVIDIA's hands. It'll look more strange as manufacturers feature advanced Optimus without G-Sync. Anyone listening, don't do that. If you're going to go the distance getting the certification for advanced Optimus, go the extra mile for G-Sync. By selecting the NVIDIA GPU only, the MUX will dynamically switch to the dedicated GPU, and now you'll have access to the full NVIDIA control panel, and in our case, G-Sync. This is the best mode for allowing the user to record to desktop via Shadowplay, as well as open up the control panel for desktop type options. Because of this dynamic multiplexer switch, Windows will see your laptop as if it has two displays. Don't be alarmed, this is normal. Our particular laptop has a MUX switch in the BIOS still, which is ideal for many enthusiasts, including those who wish to install a different operating system. Advanced Optimus is convenient, allows for maximum performance without having to reboot your MUX equipped laptop. Now I love it because I edit video on laptops and my software takes advantage of the integrated graphics for hardware acceleration to speed up renders. Now I can leave the laptop in advanced Optimus mode and the laptop will recognize when to use the right GPU for the task at hand while giving me buttery smooth gameplay via G-Sync seamlessly no reboot required. Two things to note that I have seen so far. One, if you are already in your game and decide to alt tab out to switch into another mode, your game might not want to run in full screen mode, but rather windowed. Some games will allow you to get back into full screen mode after selecting borderless mode and others will require you to exit out of your game completely, then start it back up. The second thing, Advanced Optimus is not an option on battery, but Optimus and dedicated GPU are still options. All right, let's wrap it up. This is a very nice feature. And I don't know what I'm more excited about, the fact that we have Advanced Optimus right here, and I can't wait for you to get your hands on it, or the fact that we have G-Sync on an electronics laptop. Make no mistake, this is a very expensive adventure for any manufacturer to go down. You see, getting those panels certified just for advanced Optimus is one thing, and then to have to go down that road once more in another direction just to get G-Sync 
This is a very difficult and expensive task. So at the end of the day, what I, what I wanna what I want to preach to all the manufacturers out there is if you are going to consider Advanced Optimus, you have to put G-Sync on there. Otherwise, there's not much of a point in just go with a traditional muck switch, save yourself some money while simultaneously giving the consumer something that they want. And I think that would be the best bet if you were looking to save some money. Otherwise, Advanced Optimus is awesome. G-Sync is awesome. You put them together in a laptop and it just makes people smile. All right, folks, that's going to do it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm Bob Trade. Stay tuned for the review on this little Max 15, 3.8 pounds with a 2070 Super with Electra Boost. Yeah, we're over 115 watts on this one. It's rocking. Catch you in the next video.